You know what? This is how you going to carry on. Then I'm not going to talk to you again, man. Uh. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the start of season three of the Fake and Miller podcast, where you grow your professional self. I'm so glad it got to nine o'clock because otherwise all the gems would have been dropped very early. I already got notes here on my page. <laughs> the man was already going crazy on the mic. A bit more. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, um, but ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> with me in studio, uh, season three, season one, seven episodes, season two, seven episodes, season three, episode one, Mr. Uh, as they know it, uh, Uncle Cedric, but yeah. I, as the man professionally, to grow his professional self, Mr. Cedric Laguma, Thank how are you this man. evening, sir? Thanks, my buddy, doing well, doing well, doing well. It's really great to have you in studio, uh, mm-hmm. I dropped you a little of the things that we want to share about. That's why I say I'm so glad, ladies and gentlemen, that the time has started. Yeah. Um, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start here because otherwise we can dive straight into so many things that I want to discuss mm-hmm. with you. Um, but on every segment, I take my AI. I like to teach the people about AI, chat, GPT and things. Mm-hmm. So I run an educational facility yeah. uh, with kids. I was actually teaching them in the week. Again, how to use it. Uh, they edit their own things. They use everything. So I took everything on your bio from the social media stuff. And the LinkedIn stuff threw everything on this AI chatbot and then it popped out the bio for me. Okay. But I also told the thing, make the bio like Uncle Cedric is a superhero. Oh, um, well done. Uh, a TikTok superhero. And then let's see what it popped out. Give so, it to me. Get ready to be dazzled by the remarkable journey of Cedric Laguma, the sensational Uncle Cedric in the dazzling world of FMCG. Fast-moving consumer goods. Okay. He began his career as a humble merchandiser. Stealth, uh-huh. stealthier, mastering the art of stock management. Uh-huh. <laughs> From stock rotation maestro to product ordering a virtuoso and even determining <laughs> optimal stock levels, Uncle Cedric's knowledge knew no bounds. Then he stepped into the role of DC control at Spa DC. Correct. Uh, where he began the guardian of warehouse management, most intricate secrets. Ah, ah first in, first out. <laughs> <laughs> FIFO, as they say. <laughs> but that was uh, just the beginning. Cedric then ventured into a dynamic realm of Smolen Group. Yes. As a field manager, leading a formidable team of 32 staff members. Correct. Yeah, he owned his skills in people management and delved deep into the fundamentals of marketing. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's why I say I see the stuff that happens now in here. Yes. Not one to be confined. You embarked in a brief stint to Spice Maker. I did. One month, three months. Three months I worked for Spice nice. Maker. So that's where all the food thing. It says your family owned enterprise. Correct. Yeah. Uh, unveiling the intricate workings of small and medium sized businesses. Mm-hmm. Uh, this journey led him to Sea Harvest again. Yes. We donned the Cape of the Field. Cape? Of, of a field, field sales, sales manager. manager correct. All right, he championed the appearance, stock pressure there, and then collaborated seamlessly with distributors, representatives, merchandisers, mm-hmm. lots of people, yes. relations. Uh, presently, he celebrated as a territory sales manager. Yes, at, that was my... That previously? That, previously, correct. Previously, I was a territory sales manager at a cigarette company. Brilliant. Uh, and... Um, I just see, uh, um, took the revenue to, je- for, to a staggering 15 million. Uh, to, we, we, uh, no, you can't say totals million. with you. You can't say totals with you. No, you can't you say know, totals with me at marketing. He took, so an, now. he took another company's business to 15 not my million. Own. 15 not million a day. Yes, it says here. Uh, uh, oh, I need to put the chatbot properly because it says your weekly revenue to 15 million. I'll take that. Okay, that's I'll fine. That. Not these, the other people's. Not mine. Right, under, and then our beloved. As beloved now, he is known everyone's favorite uncle on TikTok. Cedric garnered over 100 million followers? No, 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 not so much. I've got two profiles of about 85,000. Okay. Uh, I've got a third profile of 11,000. You have to have a lot of backups now on TikTok because uh, TikTok is a, is a mixture of, uh, 
of 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 algorithms mm. as well as uh, as as influence of the public. So, so you uh, must understand. You must that. understand. So sometimes uh, videos get flagged uh, by mm. the algorithm as uh, as non-compliant. That that uh, racks up warnings, and oh. uh, and you may lose your account Ooh. based on that. So I had an account before of a hundred and ninety something thousand that I just lost. I had to start over. That is the first one, probably. It was the first one. Yeah, most of yeah. my best content was made on that profile. It's gone, yeah. and I had to start over. So I started with two profiles at the same time. Yeah. And that is why you'll see both my profiles have very, very similar numbers. One is, I think, on 89, the one is on 85. You're cutting in here, but I want to say that moment when you lost the first one? I, uh, I, no, so, so, so personally, I, I, the, my, my driving force in life is, mm. is a poem that was written by, uh, I can't remember the, the author. It's mm. called If. Mm. And one of the lines in the poem says that if you can, if you can take winning and losing as exactly the same thing, Mm. Uh, then you won't be you, winning won't go to your head and losing won't leave you paralyzed basically so I take I take losses as, as much as what I take a win that that, that, uh, that has uh, killed many a, I yeah. have to use that a strong yeah. has killed many a um, content creator yeah and then it says his secret he just shared it now is reliability and relatability oh cool people from all walks of life that is the nature with his authenticity and did we mention that he joined the ranks of the TikTok users defying the stereotype that the platform is only for the young? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember. Giving you the, I, I agree. Well done. It's, it's, actually, it's actually quite right. I, I actually had an interaction with another uh, content creator when I just started. Mm. And, and I remember this video vividly. Is this because, beef? Ah, I don't think it was beef. I just, okay. think, I just think that I just think that because I was challenging the status quo, a lot of people's mm -hmm. uh, natural responses when somebody challenges what they consider to be their status quo is to right. attack. Unfortunately, that is how our community works. Mm -hmm. So if everybody is painting their houses white <laughs> and somebody is painting their house yellow, oh, uh, you know, and cack, who's got your coat to it, Mark? So I remember, yeah, exactly. So I remember this. I remember this guy saying, "What is this old man doing on this app? Get off this app, old man!" Mm. And I just smiled and I thought to myself, "My guy, do you realize that I have a five-year plan for this app? Oh. You've been on this app a year. I've I've since destroyed that content creator in following, in views, in." Influence, yeah. not that it's a competition. Let me put that disclaimer in. No, but if anyone's counting, I am winning. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a competition, ladies and gentlemen. It's an infinite game. It's yeah. something I've taught. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, you know, it's a long game. Hundred percent. And I've always played the long game. And <sighs> and I think a lot of a lot of Owens are losing because they are setting themselves a 90 minute timer bro they and only play the finite game 100 percent. the game is only lost if the whistle blows so if the whistle hasn't blown if the fat lady hasn't sung 100%. the game is not over so you're not losing uh and i find this a lot with content creators they do something for two weeks and mm. let's up it for two weeks and that one thing that goes and, then they, and then yeah and then they disappear and then they try something new it's like my bra Imagine, so so picture this, right? I like to I, I like to make yes. real world examples. So picture that's what this. I love. Yes, yes. <laughs> so picture this: I'm on a diet from I'm on a diet from from January to January the next year. That is the that is a good way to be on a diet mm -hmm. because it, it 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 levels out the ups and downs. It levels out the times that you you cheated on your diet, and you can get a more uh, holistic view. But you, but you literally get people that are on a diet from nine o'clock to half past eleven, and they're on the scale. Bro, mm. and they go, but I'm not losing weight. This diet is not working. I probably. Yeah, the Esmus that wants on the seafood diet. You haven't even the taken the a cut yet. <laughs> <laughs> go and take a popo so you can lose it at least one kilo. Like, <laughs> like, and I see that a lot in the content creation world, right? So you have these guys, and they and they run from one gimmick to the next Ooh, yeah, gimmick. No. And, and uh, I mean, even more recently, uh, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking, I'm not knocking anybody's strategy. Yes. But. You they, are assisting. A hundred percent. And I'm, but, but I mean, there's these guys, they, they jump on the one uh, trend to the next trend mm -hmm. and they wonder why they cannot grow a sustainable following, um, why they don't have people that resonate with yeah. them because people don't know what they're about.
So, Today they talk about politics. Tomorrow they want to talk about the ladies shaking their hula. Then they're going to roll you. And then, and then they realize, oh awesome. shit, in order to get an extra thousand followers per week, I need to quickly make a fight with Uncle Cedric, which the, this Uncle Cedric, yes. that has been three years in this TikTok game, uh. I'm not interested in beef. You're not going to get that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think today, like I haven't been getting a lot of uh, triggering comments in my comment section, but I think today somebody threw in a comment that, that used to trigger me. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I looked at that comment and I could, I smiled while I deleted oh. the comment and blocked the guy. I've grown. I've grown. And you know what? I, and I, and I felt proud because it's nice to know that what triggered you before like it's not triggering anymore. It just means that you, you left everybody behind yeah. that thinks that they can still trigger you with things that triggered you a year ago. Like, uh, my guy, it's like lean beef. Yo. Waiting, and waiting for someone else. Yeah. Can, can I read finish? Go for it, brother. Yes. Sorry, man. man, yeah, man. Despite a whirlwind rise to fame, Cedric uh, remains grounded. He embarked on a journey to complete his degree or is completing his degree of supply chain management. Correct. At Mancosa. Brilliant. Uh, but there's more uh, to the extraordinary journey. Cedric is currently. It's easier because you, now I'm I'm now torn because you said you you know the LinkedIn bio has too many jobs on there. BDM business development manager. Yeah, correct. At one one drop. Dro yeah, it's logistics. A, it was a division of uh, it's a division of uh, Massmart. Mm -hmm. uh, I specialized in last mile delivery, so it's also logistics. Okay, it's the final part of of, of your delivery journey. Okay. Uh, so that's a part of... of and a, this is, this is if, I say, if you say delivery, this is any textiles or... No, you know, anything. So picture, picture, you place an order online. Correct. And uh, the guy that uh, that picks up the item at the distribution center and brings it to your house. Yes. That's considered last mile. So within the logistics space, I've, I've never played there. Okay. So uh, I like to picture myself developing different muscles. Mm. Uh, so I, I, I used to be in international logistics. I used to be in containerized cargo. I used to be in FMCG and uh, and I did last mile delivery. So I'm, so is this moving to the e-commerce space? Because you're in the E. So can I just finish here? Before yes. I finish, it says, uh, witness how he conquers the lifestyles. Witness how he conquers and uses his mindset of operations and processes and like an avenger to create balance in society. Yes. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> cool, <man. laughs> so for me, uh, like I said, I was explaining to you and take a couple of leadership uh, principles. I took three. I took the law of the lid. Mm -hmm. um, I took the law of navigation and I took the law of process. But okay. I'll start with the law of the lid. Okay. So the law of the lid says uh, John C. Maxwell, 21 irrefutable laws of leadership. Okay. Now the, the crazy thing is you love speaking about this. John C. Maxwell say you can't do the other laws if you can't break through this one. 100%. So the law of the lid says, uh, this is most that old one with the, and I've done this many, said this many times the on crabs? the podcast. No, not the crabs. Okay. The fleas. Oh, the fleas. Yes, the yes, I remember the fleas. Yeah. You see I, the fleas in I the jaw? I know the fleas. So, so eventually, the fleas don't even know the first generation that, uh, that had the lid. Oof, they just yeah, don't yeah. even jump that eye anymore. So, oof, and now, and again, with everything that you do, your content, even in your work, you've seen the lid. Um, so what the law of the lid also says is within business, because I, I, I always want this to be where people can use this information to make money, mm. to break through a lid where you understand. Yes, we always give, we're always helping people. Yeah. But in your process, you make money to fund your purpose. 100%. So if you can help them do that, um, like we spoke about, um, we know we all want to do good. Um, yes. We all want to be better. Yeah. So we want to do good, but we need money to. Hundred percent. I'll make a real world example. Today I was in a situation with a with a customer, right? So, so I am currently uh, an account manager. So, okay. I, so I manage I manage certain accounts, <coughs> and one of my accounts I needed to do a um, renegotiation of the mm. annual rates. Okay. So generally, renegotiation of annual rates is I put together a. a increase proposal and they will negotiate me down from where mm -hmm. I started. <clears throat> we'll meet in the middle, right. we'll sign and then we'll move forward, right? Business as usual. And uh, and the customer indicated to me that they are talking to another service provider. Mm. In fact, they went as far as to, as to uh, leverage my rates that I have to against that. the rates that was offered by the competitor. Mm. And... Um, 
Obviously, my rate seemed wildly out out of whack. I mean, in certain yeah. cases, I was twenty percent more than them, which is which is a lot in this economy. Correct. Right. And uh, I'm sitting with my colleague, and and I'm immediately starting to work on how am I going to replace this revenue mm. that I am prepared to lose with this customer because I'm because sure. I'm pre- prepared to walk away. Okay. And uh, and I immediately sent uh, the customer my intention, and I told him, listen, my guy. Uh, I'm not going to lower my, my rate to, mm-hmm. to, to this rates that you have. If you feel comfortable to move, then you need to move. I, I'm, this, is, this is the rate that I have on offer because this is what I know mm. I am I'm able to offer at this rate. That's your product. Yes, and, and it's, a, it's a service. So, uh, you From know, service, yeah. 100%. So, so I, I know what I'm able to offer. If I'm going to charge less, then I cannot guarantee the same quality you've been getting. And good for you if you can get the same quality over quantity at the at the lower rate. <laughs> go for it. The guy goes. The guy goes. He calls me back immediately, and he goes, "Hey Cedric, I didn't expect that email now, eh? Because uh, because I thought and and now all of a sudden the mask drops. Business is business now. Yeah, right? but the, the economy. Hundred percent. But the mask <laughs> drops and the guy goes. I didn't expect you to come out that hard. I thought you were going to drop your rates by another five percent, mm. and then we, I was going to sign, and then we're going to move on. And here you're telling me that you're willing to walk away. And and I told him yes, because one, I know that the increase that I proposed is fair based on the market, and two, I will not be strong on it. It's it is what it, and and my colleague is sits there and his his jaw is hanging open because. If you're a salesperson and or an account, somebody that's in charge of an account, right? You, you have yeah, this you mentality are. that the customer is always right and you need to do everything to make the customer happy. Can you please change that phrase? What? The customer is always right? Is that where you're going? I'm, I'm actually going to counter that and yes. say that the customer doesn't want what, to know what the customer wants. That's the one. The customer isn't always right, right? I, I need to, I need to, Find out the customer's pain point, mm. and I need to meet the customer at the pain point at an effective rate, and then we're happy. So, so we, we I, 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 again, I use the, I use the practical example. I said Woolworths currently is charging sixty bucks for the same wheat bix that Pick and Pay <laughs> is charging forty bucks for. Sure. Right, same wheat bix, same box. It's not a Woolworths branded wheat bix. Same box. It is a, it is a uh, Pacoma wheat bix at like sixty five bucks. Pick and pay is selling to the same wood at 40 bucks. Boom. Woolworths is making no excuse no. for selling at the higher rate because the, the Woolworths difference, as his logo says, is that you go going to walk in the Woolworths store with the expectation of a higher quality Correct. store, Correct. the store's going to be clean, the, the surroundings are nice, the cashier is not going to sit there banging her head, <laughs> uh, going, go, because the braids is eating, going, per, per plastic, where, you, you know what I mean, you're going to get a different experience, and that is where that extra 20 bucks is going. And, and I think you, you, you mentioned it again, I said, um, ladies and gentlemen, please take a look at Mr. Cedric Laguma's LinkedIn page um, <laughs> for some good uh, insights into business sales operations and processes. Yeah, I tend to, I tend to. leadership. Yeah, and I, this is what this is about, that's why, brother, I, again, we spoke about, you said something about the God complex on social media. Yeah. <laughs> How people see it. Yeah. That's also in the law of the lid. Okay. You know, where they don't break through because there's also the lid in that, like, I can only go that far. Yes. Yes. Um, so where you explaining the lid how that you use so this man is used in his business you use it also in how you create and do things we were speaking about uh, yes I, yeah. I'm de- I, I, I've definitely challenged uh, what is seen as possible on social media right so firstly I'm 42 okay. when I started my TikTok career I was 40 right <laughs> okay. and Nice. It's not. It's not just about following, and it's not just about comments, and not about views. But it also is, right? Yeah. Because that doesn't define me, but it's also a testament to the quality of content that you make. If you can have five point seven million views per week consistently or per True. month, consistently, mm. um, and that is, and that means that you are creating. Uh, unique, co- constantly creating unique content. I mean, I make I do an average of between twelve and twenty-four videos per day 
12 to 24 videos per day, ladies and gentlemen. Per day. And I mean, I'm averaging now of between 5 to 10 minutes of video. Okay. And that is, and I'm going to go as far as to say that there's very few other creators that can make content of that quality at that pace. Yes. Consistently. Mm. I mean, there are people that are, that are making uh, videos of, let's say, them running on the spot, right? Mm. And although in itself that video is, is fine, it's, it's cool. Yeah. You can't make six videos of you running on the spot mm. every, every day. With no value. With no value. And then claiming that you make 10 videos a day. No, my guy. You make one video a day, you multiply it by six, and yes. then you made another four. Mm. So, so... And the metrics prove it. 100%, right? Yeah. Um, so... My, my my thing is, as a 40-year-old, I, I needed to come and challenge what was thought as possible for a 40-year-old, mm. right? So you come on this app, which is considered to be an app for teenagers, but actually, if you go to what TikTok is, TikTok is a business. Correct. You are the product that they sell to other companies why can't you leverage that and make yourself a business on this app? We just need to rewind here. Now, Mr. Laguna, there's one thing I know is that I can listen to you and I understand the word leverage is something people don't understand. Yeah. I run an education facility. I make sure the kids understand. Leverage your skill. Yes. So it's they don't have content because they don't know what to leverage. Yeah. So I feel that the, the way you leverage your knowledge of all this process and things in what you do it's on another level it's Thanks, just sir. how you so in the law there's three levels of deserve also okay now there's, there's three levels just think about this three. and what did we say what is deserve so yeah. listen to this there's three levels of deserve I've been teaching this in a mentorship class I've been doing so the first the first and the worst level is if you get less than you deserve mm -hmm. then you you must say when said by the BM yeah you don't deserve that. Yeah. Say mm -hmm. Because you're getting less than you deserve. Yeah. Now, people that get less than they deserve, they say these three words. I don't know. Mm. All the time. For anything, I don't know. You always, you use this word a lot now. Intention. And and that's what it is. The intention behind it is going to help you not say, I don't know. Yeah. Then you're getting less than you deserve. The middle one there is you get exactly what you deserve. Mm -hmm. That means you're doing... You're on par. You're, you're on par, you make six running videos times one times six. So it's yeah. not, it's not that. So it's okay. You're keeping with it. Yeah. But we, everybody in life wants more than they deserve. Yeah. You, and you want, to, you want to feel it and you want other people also to say it. And that is where, like I say, 12 times 24 videos a day, um, yeah. you and I feel you're getting more than you deserve on the thing. And it, it will constantly happen because yeah. you burst through the lid. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Also, I think, I think, uh, what I've, what I've done is I've created the impression, and I've said this before, it's not a secret. <laughs> I've created the impression that I'm viral. Okay. Like, like I really get a video that gets more than 100,000 views. If I get a video with 100,000 views, I'm surprised. Yeah. But I can make 12 videos of 5,000 views, for sure. And combined, yeah. that is 60,000 views. So... People will think that I'm viral because I'm constantly on the For You page, but I'm always on the For You page because I'm always creating, I'm always adding to that conveyor Correct. belt of content Correct. so that it seems that you oh, the Uncle Cedric is all over. Meanwhile, Uncle Cedric is just constantly throwing another video in the hat. And I think that's the, that's the secret um, because, I, because I'm, I'm able to consistently create, yes. consistently um, create fresh and new videos. Um, there's always a video that you haven't seen, and I appeal to to because I'm because the I'm audience. relatable. Yeah, I appeal to a bigger audience. Like yes. there are people that that haven't seen the entire last week videos, because I would think it's not like Facebook where I would make a video today and I'll tell people, oh guys, uh, you know what? I now extracted my front teeth, so I don't have front teeth right now. That has got 50,000 views. Quite I promise days. you, for the next year, there will be people that will see my videos and go, Hey, it's your turn to trick. Oh. Because they haven't seen that original video where I yeah. said I'm extracting my teeth. So, if, imagine you've got 
such a big pool of new viewers. And it just like, and you're not using it like my bro. This is a resource, and and that is what I take to businesses when I do advertising. Yes. I tell them, guys, for the month of of August, I've got 4.7 million views in total. Yes. For the month of June or July, I've got 5.2 million, and then I show them that average, and I go, you can have a portion of that. Correct. What would that? What would an extra 10,000 views on your business? Be worth to you, boom. Because you are going to pay thirty-five thousand rand for for a radio ad. It's going to play for thirty seconds, True. and you're not guaranteed. Now, yes, the radio station is going to give you stats and tell you five hundred thousand people listen to us a day and blah blah blah. But you need to understand really that in yeah. that thirty seconds of the twenty-four hours of the day. How many people is going to be listening to the radio? <laughs> Secondly, how many people is going to be listening to the radio so much that they're going to hear your ad? At that specific time. Then on top of that, out of all the people that hear your ad, how many okay, is going to be converted into action? To my converted. To yeah, right? No call to action. No, nah, no call to action. They need to be activated, Quite. right? Now, I'm going to charge you 5,000 rand. He's giving a small total, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I keep like it small. I like that. I like it. Like a base total. I'm trying to keep it small because I'm going to make a lot of money. Yes, I love it. I love it. I'm going to make a lot of money. How good that's going to be with you. I actually yes. made a status the other day on Facebook. Yeah. I said, people hate you because you seem happy on your photos on Facebook. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. You, you, may, be this, you may be sad. You may be, yeah. you may be hurt. But because you're smiling on your photos and mm. you're posting that people hate you. Because you seem happier than them. It's it's, a, it's the no, weirdest thing. But you have spoken about the paradigm and you've put it on your yes, routine yes. about the, the how people see things, oh, the perspective they look at it. So again, we have, I'm going to move past the law of the lid, ladies and gentlemen, but please, please go look what it is because in the law of the lid, it emphasizes you have to break through. You, now, have, when you, you have to break through, you have to challenge what you think is possible. So now you move through, Right. So now you move, the, because the first template is under the lid. Because the Timbukwai loves this new word, template. Mm. It's not a template for him. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know what yes, I mean? Yeah. He, he speaks the best, you know what yeah. I mean? 750k an hour. Yeah. Uzi. Yeah. I know that's where you're competing next. That's, yes, that's, 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 that, that's it. You should, that is, um, uh, what's his name? Um, the, uh, the SME Summit. Yeah. You should definitely be speaking there next yes, year. Yes, so, um, I will it into existence. I yeah. think just drop it there. You need to be speaking there. It's before the content creators and for the small businesses because yeah. they don't see, because they're waiting for you to come to them. So they don't see how they can create community through just changing their template. Yeah. So Vusi says, look, there's no template for him. Now you've mentioned it. I, I, I'm from the Dusty Streets of Hanover Park. Mm -hmm. uh, when I talk to the ladies, I say I'm from the Dusty Streets of Hanover Park. Yes. If you, if you want to be in a more dangerous place from me, you must Google. I think Hanover Park is number three most dangerous or four in Cape Town. So. Mm -hmm. Either if you're from the top three, then you can use your situation as a problem. Yes. Because I try to show it's possible. I, I hear you. I but hear I speak you. well. Yes. I was yes. the English family. That's okay. the Engels. That's Engels. Yeah, yeah. That's Engels. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we used to fight you guys for uh, <laughs> break time. Yeah. Because we were the Afrikaans class. Oh, so what do you? Afrikaans A. Afrikaans A. Ooh. So we used to fight. We Always fight. Afrikaans class. Always Afrikaans class. Sub A to standard 12. And it's the thing, did you ever, was, did you meet your wife on No, on I met, I actually met my wife at Macro in Ottery while I was mm. still in the merchandising. Okay, but so on school, did you ever date a girl from the English class? I only dated girls from the English class. Because oh, I, I, I always dated up. <laughs> <laughs> I always dated up. I never dated a girl from my class. I, I, I have a weird thing because the, in my year of matriculating, the Overcons like he was a top student, my bro. Yes. It was like, I know it. Hundred percent, hundred percent. We were barbarians. <laughs> the Afrikaans like these were barbarians. You and you never know. Yeah, I have to go back. So I taught for five years at Cedar High School, also from okay. 2016 till 2020. Okay. And and shout out to the Afrikaans like this. I used to go in the class and I used to tell them, why do you not understand your power? You can talk both languages. Yes, because Afrikaans kids speak English better than the English kids can speak Afrikaans. And you must know that is a lekker Engels. 100%. That is that mingles. And yes. It's, it's so, like, I have a student that I used to teach. So he's, he's matriculated, he studied, he's writing, with the, he's busy assisting with the first Afrikaans dictionary. Oh, wow. So we speak a lot about the Afrikaans. So today yeah. I was telling him, Google Steakbeck. 
Ja. So now he say, no, you can't find it. Mm. Now he types it STR, shout out to you, Tyron. Yeah. Yes. You put, dude, come with your Afrikaaps. <laughs> now he say, no, we say sterk. Yes. Now he say, no, because he's good changing the mm. Afrikaaps. And well but, done. Yeah. And I mean, those, these are students, so again, there's no template for them. Mm-hmm. Because what is the template? You come from a certain situation, you have to be a certain way. Yes. If you break through the lid now, yeah. Right, sorry, if you break through the lid, you now have gone from I win, 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 win. Yeah. That's good pro quo. If I yeah. do something, there is an intention behind it. Yeah. To win. Yes. In the infinite game. Yes. And the 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 thing is, man, and this is what a lot of people are not realizing that while you are looking at me as as somebody or something that you need to stop. Somebody that you need to you need to criticize. Mm. You are looking at the world wrong. Mm. Because what I'm trying to do is show you what is possible for you. Not sure. necessarily show you what is possible for me. Oh yeah, I know Crystal. Thanks, Crystal. Shout out to Crystal, eh? Hey, hey. Yes. We actually had a dope last weekend Friday. Nice, yeah. <laughs> He's a worthy rival. Yeah. People that's competing with you. This is what they must understand. You are worthy rival. Yeah. So you're worthy to rival. You, and, you, and you know what? I, I'm yeah. at that point where... The, and Drake says it so well. Oh, dropping, dropping <laughs> bars here yes, for the people. Yes, Drake says it so well. In order to beat me, you have to be faster than me. Now, now, now again, they're going to look now at your physique. You see, nah, they're going to say... Nah, I cannot. Oh, listen, nah, I can still, I can still, I can still run. I can still run. Somebody said a drug now in the comments. I was in the Caribbean Greenpoint Stadium. Yes, oh meters. shit. Now I got up my big file for sure. <laughs> but the, the point is that I am not, you know what? There's different types of challenges. There's yes. different Ooh. types of rivals. Not, not every rival is somebody that you must kill. It's worth not, it. not every rival is your enemy. You can have a worthy rival and mm. that person can take you to your next level. Yo. Like you might not imagine you have the benefit of training with Usain Bolt, right? You'll never be able to outrun it, oh, but he'll take you to what your maximum is. Well, you'll be closer. Yes, so, so the mentality that I'm fighting today is that mentality that if I'm running against Usain Bolt, I must break his legs. Nice. And then I must beat him across the finish line, and then I must tell people I beat Usain Bolt by breaking his legs. And that is what we are doing mentally to each other. When you see another colored person mm. rising above what is the status quo, what is the template set out for whoever, and instead of going, yo, I can do what that but I do, you say that but I pee. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if you're glad he didn't drop the pee word. I well, didn't, man. I won't, I won't, but... That is the mentality nowadays, <laughs> like, nah, that brother's an asshole. Because he's an asshole, I can learn nothing from him. And this is already, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in the trading game, I did a bit trading back nice. in the day. Nice, <laughs> well What done. did they say? They say, rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Do this, uh, there. Okay, so you rinse and repeat, and then you add mags on. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Nah, and, and you know what? It's, I'm at that level where I will clap for a brother that can beat me. Mm. Show me that you can beat me. Okay. At TikTok, show me you can beat me at business mindset. Show me yes. you can beat me. Ik gaat voor jou clap. That's the difference between me and you. Yes. Is you cannot clap for me, while I will gladly clap for you. And that, that's the power in it. 100 percent The ah. power is in being able to clap for the next hour. Because that's you just you just engaging actually, which is what you must do to the yes. people out there. You must engage with yeah. the audience. So if so, anybody that is listening to this podcast, going ask yourself why are you feeling that way? Ooh. Why is my success or just my success mindset such a problem for you? Is it perhaps because you are a loser? Ooh. <laughs> like, but you can use this. Like, like exactly because let me tell you one thing that is. That is actually going to blow your mind. You know me. I don't know you. <laughs> yeah. I, I have no idea you. You quietly, yes. you quietly wishing for my demise. Oh. When all you can do is beat me. And, and like I'm only driving a Chinese bucky. Coquettes have a high luck. Stand it's a beat. There we go. 100%. I'm talking about making a quarter million, a quarter million. Oh, I'm talking about making a quarter million on one deal. Go and make 300,000 uh, and done it. In fact, 
Make a quarter million in one rand on one deal. And it's a mega beat. But until that day, put some sort of respect on my name. Oh, wow. <laughs> Because ladies and gentlemen, this man is a transformational <laughs> leader. And you, because you don't force people to follow you. No, no, not at all. You not don't need the call to action drop. Not at all. I actually, I no call to action. You, you don't drop. You come out of that. You come yeah. out of that door, and you say what you need to say. And now, it's just. actually <laughs> funny. It's actually funny that you mentioned <laughs> that because I, I had a situation where I was reporting to a guy. Okay. And and unfortunately, this guy was not a strong leader. Which means he, he and, and and I'm the type of guy. Excel for you follow. If I can learn something from you, okay. if if you if you proven yourself to be a leader, I will follow you. And if you haven't done that, I'll challenge you. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm like for, you look for I'm like transformation. a hundred percent. I'm like a carne corso dog. You need to be a very mm. strong owner in order oh. to to own that dog. That dog's gonna turn around and just bite you. Oh. All right, and um, nice. Yeah, and <laughs> that and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Importantly, so where this leads me to is the next law. I say it's called the law of process. Okay. The law of process states, and people like people ask the question is, um, were you born a leader? And then the answer to that is, leadership is not done in a day; it's done daily. No, oh, that's amazing. Uh, I'll definitely keep that in mind. And that's the second one. So once you pass through the the the, the lid. Now you must be in the process to understand that it's a process. It's must every day. Yeah. It's must 12 to 24 per day. And with different content. 12 to 24 per day, every day. Every day. And that's what the... 365, yes, 24, so, you know, I'm not, 100%, I know guys that, uh, that had one or two videos that went well over a million views. What a And what based on that, they created this whole following. And now they've lost the account. And they oh. are literally in a panic because they ask themselves, how am I going to get back to 20,000 followers? Because mm. that viral video is now gone. Uh, like uh, my guy, it's inside of you there somewhere. I asked you this, I'm not sure if it was on air or before, but I asked you that that moment when you lost the account, like that moment for that man, you can must learn. You come on again. I felt nothing. I felt nothing. I just, I started up my new accounts yeah. and I carried on creating. Yes, because you believe, fail fast. Fail fast, that's my motto. <laughs> fail fast, get up, dust is over. You know what, I, I actually, when I, did, when I saw the potential of my account, right, so initially I used to swear a lot on my account, I was mm. very abrasive, I used to get people's attention by saying the one thing that they, they didn't think I, I would say, oh, right? Oh, I see And yes, like, jeez, this guy's a no, You mustn't it. forget, you got the tone, you got the, the oh, acumen. Oh, my, my bra. You, it's, it's on liquor. Yeah. Oh, my, my bra. And, and I... And took what you said and turned it into a song. Was so. that, yes, I mean, they turned it into a song. And it got to the point where I realized, like, yay, if YouTube can use the million people that visits their platform every 15 seconds or whatever and commercialize that. And I'm currently growing at a thousand followers a day. And I want to commercial, and that, that's the rate that my, my old account used to grow is a thousand followers a day extra. That's, that's lockdown. Man, that was lockdown. Ooh. Man, yeah, it was warm. It was what I used to talk. I used to yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah no, my I best think. content. Oh, But my, my, what I even considered to be my best content was not commercially viable. Because because when a business looked at my content, uh, I can't really have Too this. Hundred percent, And I can't really have this bra sell my beds. Because I wouldn't want people, <laughs> I wouldn't want yeah. people to associate my beds with this bra. Correct. Right. So what I did was I deleted 2,000 videos of my reevaluate, reevaluate, and I and I made oh. my I made my content uh, good enough for radio. Yes. Or okay. good enough for TV. PG PG 13. Correct. Is and this is this is this research? Is this going in and saying okay, going into? No, the this is feeling the water. This is feeling the water. This is this is watching my response. This is knowing where I want to take my content. Okay. And good. then taking my content there. Okay. So, so, like, I could, if, if, if my boss had to see my content now, yes. would I be worried? No. Mm, that's a good one. 100%. And that's, that's the question that you must ask every time you want to make a video. It's, if my boss sees this one video and they judge me based on this one video, yes. how, will they, how, will yes. they, how will they think I am? 
I say it all the or, time. Or do I need to then tell the joke is so good I had to tell it to HR? <laughs> they, they, my boss said, go tell, go tell that joke again to HR. Now, people don't, so now people are saying, oh, you know what? I feel like I'm going to sell out and I'm not true to myself. Then be true to yourself. Yes. But then you can't want the commercial value that I have. And, and there's two sides to this coin. And, and to ladies and gentlemen, commercialization means making money. There we go. Simple as, simple as that. Making if you money. want to make money off his, off his TikTok like Uncle Cedric do, yes. and you don't want to sell out, Correct. you can't have both. Like I can't make that raw uh, content and yeah. swear and, yes. and polarize people and yes. still expect VW Claremont to phone me and say, hey, Cedric, I wanted to advertise a course for us oh, for well, a quarter million a year. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I wasn't yeah. there, but it wasn't there. The, 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 point I'm, the point I'm making, the point I'm making is a lot of people think that yeah. they can have everything. You, and ooh, and can you, can't, you can't, because you have there. to. Stay there, sir. You can't have it all, because like you said, Sunny sold us out. I don't even remember you got served, how angry the lightning was when Sunny sold us out. Yes. I'm still angry for him. The intention behind what you are doing on whatever platform. Yes. What's the intention? You're going to make money? 100%. Or do you want to grow your audience? Because yes. that's, that's two different things yeah. or so. I can go back um, to a thousand, to growing a thousand. I can go back to uh, an, an account that will have 300,000 followers by the end of the year. Mm. But I can tell you now, I'll lose all my contracts. And that is... And now you ask yourself... You lose all your contracts, you lose lots of good nights out yeah. with family. 100%. Do, do, I, do I want it? No. no. So, so what do I need to do? I need to do what I need to do to, mm. to reach my goal. It's like th every morning, every single morning, without fail, bro, Monday to Friday, when my alarm go off, mm. I don't smart like getting up. Every morning. This, and I'll be honest, there's not a morning when I wake up at half past five and I go, yes, I want to wake up nine. Uh -uh. I, I, without fail, I ask myself, do I want to go to work today? And the answer is always yes. Because if I don't go to work today, what is the alternative? Is there, is there a better choice? Yeah, staying in bed where it's warm ah. is the better choice. What alternative am I creating by staying in bed? I'm going to be broke. Yes, he's going to have a, just a J-O-B. And being, and, and 100 percent and being, <laughs> and being broke is not an option. Why? Because I've got three boys, Ooh. I've got a wife, no. I've got a bond. I've got a vehicle finance, whatever that is motivating me, but that is what gets me out of bed. Now, take that question mm. and bring it to your content. Oof. What do you want out of your content? Do you want to commercialize your content? Then make your content commercializable. You then already have the what, what you're going to do. So you don't know, you, you must just have the why. You have your, your family, your why. 100%. Easy. Um, you act the identity, golden circle. Why, how, what. So why? Family. Easy. Yeah. How are you doing it? Content creation. Yeah. What? The intention behind I, it all I, the time. I had a content creator. I had a content creator call me about a week ago. <laughs> I had a content creator call me about a week ago. And this content creator, uh, he, he's, uh, I don't think he's, he's working. Yeah. And this content creator phones me and he says, Cedric. I'm struggling a bit, bro. How, you know, do you have any? Block. Yeah, do I have, do you have any <laughs> advice for me? I said, bro, you, you've got TikTok. You regularly, you can go live. And you, you, you make money of going, the, uh, for people that don't know. Ooh, when you, you drop some Yeah, gems, when, when you go live on TikTok and you see people getting, receiving roses or gifts, that's yeah. actual money. Ooh. That's actual serious money. Beat. Serious, you sit on your live. And people throw you roses and people throw you whatever other gifts. That's all money. Yes. And this content creator knows how to be live, how to get gifts. And this content creator has, I don't even want to say the audacity. Yes. But he has the audacity to phone me and ask me, what can I do? I said, bro, the tool is there. Pick up the tool. You had to ask him, what do you do? No, but I mean, like, like yeah, what I do is completely it. different to what he does. Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. and he, he, it's almost like a light bulb went on in his head. He's like, my bro, like, he phones me two days later. He goes, my bro, thanks for that advice. I'm like, I didn't give you advice. 
and I went, it was in you. And under the person, it, it, you also you have, have to, to you have to pick up the tool. Pick mm. up the tool. It's always been there. Yes, yes. But yes. it seems as if it seems as if he was looking for. I don't know. It just seems as if he, he hasn't seen the own his own potential. Yes, and and I've, I've unfortunately another very important leadership principle. If you've never ever pointed out to anybody, they'll never know it exists. You know, if you don't show anybody, you didn't show all this pattern, they'll look at it, that chart for all the time. Yeah. So those are the type of things that you do. Now I say this, say that to say this is you must take the titles that people give you. Some of them give you the like, bad polarized titles. Yeah. But yeah. all the titles that are there in LinkedIn is like someone like that. They just saw that and they needed that. Um, yeah, I, it was it was weird because to yeah. me it was so it was so obvious. Like why didn't he just do that? And he eventually goes, "Say the." Thanks, man. It's, it's, and I'm like, oh, shit, it's like me asking when my alarm goes off in the morning, like, what do I do now? And somebody says, get up and go to work. And I go, shit, I didn't think of that. Nah, like, that's going to be the first thing that you're, you're going to yeah. be doing. Sometimes the, most, way. sometimes the most obvious answer is the answer. So and now people overcomplicate their lives. So now the third thing I wanted to speak about is the law of navigation. How's mm -hmm. this? Law of Navigation states, find people that are better than you with the right mindset to assist you. Ooh. You know, you know what? You, you, they, need to, they need to add something to that, to that saying. Yes. It has to be, drop your jealousy mm. and then find yourself somebody that does better than you so they can guide you. Because unfortunately, the mindset of a lot of youngsters today... The human nature. The human nature. Anybody... There's the saying, and everybody knows. Like, my bro, surround yourself with winners, and then you can also I'm become also a winner. I'm also status. It's right? like that week, and you see but, it all week. Yes, but then you must <laughs> ask yourself, why would a winner like me hang with a negative person like you? Because remember, that works both ways. If, if you're going to be in my, if you're going to be in my company to learn, yes. but you're not teachable, then I'm not going to have you in my company. I, right? I, I added this is, somebody told me, but me bro, life is give and take me bro. I'm like, nah, life is give, give. Life is give, you give. give, give, I give. So, so if you are going to sit in a, in a, in a, the company of millionaires, Psst. right? No problem. And all you can think of is this guys are just bragging about this stuff and about the investments. And meanwhile, mm. this guy is trying to show you what's possible. They're trying to show you the formula. This brother is trying to show you how investments work. And you're sitting here going, table minute your investments based in, in, in break where your good is. Wanna gaat for me your gyal gie? Give. Because that is the mentality. Then you never, then believe me, you're not going to be in a circle of winners for long. And, and and they like this um the I like the you surround yourself with winners, but the one that they that they don't see is you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. Yes, sir. That's most where that thing came from. No, right? you know what's the worst part? The, the average. Hundred percent. And and I wanna add to that is you are you saying that you want to do better and you wanna hang out with better people, but you, you can't be you feel you can't be challenged. People mustn't challenge you, and then you feel like like the reason why. No, you see, I, I like to match energies, and I like to people that's on the same vibe is because of matching energies that you are loser because you hang with other losers that don't make you feel like you're losing is something wrong. Ooh, so now you because you sound this means something because you sound like you were walking past me on the beach, and they were like, "Yo, bro, <laughs> it's, my bro, that's the thing." So it's like a, it's like people are, are <laughs> trying to yeah, they trying to surround themselves. With, with, uh, pe with people that are matching the energy mm. and thinking that that's how they're going to improve. So when does the, why do they not challenge each other? Hard question for yeah, you to maybe it's, answer. Uh, easy question. They don't challenge each other mm. because if you don't challenge each other, nobody's moving out of their comfort zone. And nothing grows there. And nothing grows. So, in your, so imagine I'm, I'm with Brasa. That Ooh. none of us are working, or all of us are working, but all of us are on entry level jobs. None mm. of us are saying something like, But bro, you know, you buy a bottle of rum every weekend. A bottle of rum costs us 300 rand. Do you cool. know that by the end of the year, it's 300 rand multiplied by 52? Do you know that you could have gone and studied this year? Ooh. Just based off your bottle of rum every weekend? 
You don't want, they don't want to surround themselves with people like that, and they wonder why nobody's improving. But you know what? As long as nobody's making nobody else feel uncomfortable, mm. then everybody's fine. Because we say, what the past the lolly was an amal to Oh, and, and, and staying at that, but then, that is, okay, and that what Cedric just uttered now, past the lolly for the to that is having not... What do they call it? Uh, not friends in high places, that's having high friends in places. places. <laughs> no, but that's <laughs> the careful. thing. So you got one guy, you got one guy, let's say myself coming in, and I'm not even speaking to anybody directly. I'm speaking on a video. Ooh. And I'm saying, you're sitting there in your house with your feet up. You are drinking, a, like now, drinking a bottle of rum every weekend. You're watching me. You're watching me get offended because you've got a bottle of rum here. So I'm obviously talking about you, but I don't know you. But now you don't like me because I'm, I'm even just on a mental level, I'm challenging you. You don't like that. Mm. It's like me talking. It's like me talking about about guys that are unfaithful in their marriages. Ooh, and, and I love that topic. No, I bring it up because it's a sore point I because I used to love that. I okay. mean, I wasn't married, but I yes. mean, I used to love that. And yes. you ask yourself, you want to bake a cake. Yes. But your main ingredient is sand. No, my brother, you're not baking cake. You're making mud cookies. And now you're saying the thing I love to say. I don't like stories. I like recipes. Yeah. Because you're talking about baking cake. Yeah. So there's certain recipes that go as the template of, there's no perfect marriage, but it's a template for a sustainable marriage. Agreed. Use that word. Yeah. Um, sustainable and also profitable. Yeah. Um, if you do this little recipes, add, add, add. A lot of the times it's a yeah. esoteric, emotional things that you need to add in there. But there is that template, and speaking about it is very important. I call my kids at my school athlete of the last 20 years, fatherless generation. Mm. And because you needed to use other fathers to kick mold the way you want to father. Yeah. Now I always have to tell kids, I'm not, the way I am with you is not for the way your father is with you, is how you're going to be with your next generation. Yeah, yeah. Um, because that's the part of the navigation. Yeah. They don't see how they can use others no, 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 better. no, no, they, they can't because anybody, the mindset is that anybody that's doing better than them is a problem, is a reminder. You know why? Because we were taught in order to be grateful, you need to look at somebody doing worse than you. We used to use that as a template to go, oh, but you know what, as long as, as long as, you know, there are people, I'm now eating now uh, bread, but you know, there's people that don't even have bread. <laughs> and then that will make them feel grateful. So, so subconsciously, if there's somebody doing better than them, they, they may be thinking, nah, because they're doing better than me, I'm, I don't know. But it seems like people have lost the ability to be inspired. So inspiration now, has been replaced with jealousy. So now we don't have inspiration, right? So again, and you have to be motivated by yourself, right? So that's inspiration. But now we have this generation, right? I, I teach this generation all the time. Where the challenging is very difficult. Mm. It's the how. You have, you have kids that are in this generation. I just wrote down now, actually, minus. You said you're 42. Mm. So about 18 years ago, you were 24. Oh, wow. 18 right. years ago. Lifetime. 18 years ago, 24, standing around the fire. What is the brasa chatting about? You know what I mean? Yeah. So what are they doing now? Still the same thing. Prob probably stay chatting around the fire still. If you, if you, so you, if you, if you, and now, 18 years later, mm. still chatting about the same things. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's something you love to share, like that we have to push through that. That's why we, we have don't, to. we don't have the fathers and that no, are able to navigate. hundred percent. And nobody's holding anybody accountable. Nobody, nobody, you know, what's the problem. I think no, nobody's saying, but bro, you've been talking about this now for the last five years. Ooh. Like when are you when are you actually going to build can on you, can you yeah, you can, yeah 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 you can see drunk as a prize when are you actually going to do it and then you know what is their response if you ask them a question like it uh, nah uh, we not we not we not uh, our, um, our energy is not matching anymore because he's trying to hold you accountable oh, to your own words yeah Shut. The accountable to your own words is a big man yeah so I go yeah. again, uh, people love honesty, but they don't like to be heard the truth. Oof, you, wow, that's amazing. That, I'll definitely use that in future. Yeah, because the honesty is lekker. No, nah, honesty is lekker, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if, the truth, as yeah. I said, that's... Why, why, do you think, why do you think people love my content? 
They go, yes, it's my bro. You're so real, my bro. You're so, this is the first time I can agree with you. I've been watching your videos for three years. Okay. So every time that I spoke, <laughs> it now didn't resonate with you. <laughs> you know how many people actually say that in the comment section? My bro, <laughs> this is the first time that I can agree with you. That's why I'm leaving this comment. Well done. Or somebody who says, you know what, with this video, you've earned my respect. You know what I think in my mind? You earn. Your respect, what I'm going to earn. Or somebody, somebody comments, with this, with this video, you just lost my respect. Like, my bro, your respect is water, man. And, and that thing again, like the light is again, and I use the gen and people in general, because the generation now goes across every, every person. I think it's become so weak, and then we had COVID that actually just took a big um. I can I say COVID took a lot of vigor out of people. Yeah. So the fight is not there anymore. Yeah. So now they expect it to come easy because something happens so afterwards it must come easy. Now it's even more difficult yeah. to challenge people. So I don't do the I there's a lot of single fathers, right? Mm. But there's ways to navigate to assist your lighty. Yeah. So the one thing is if you can't be there, there's still ways to be there. Oh yeah, for sure. And that's, because, where I, that's because my gripe, like navigate how your family can still be because, involved with the like this. Because let me tell you, I, my, if you think about it, right, I'm eight hours at work during the day, mm. right? It's an hour traveling in the morning and an hour traveling at night. That's 10 hours yep. out of the 24, eight hours of that 24, I'm sleeping, mm -hmm. right? So, so do the math, it's 10 hours. Plus eight hours, that's 18 hours out of 24. That leaves me with six hours. Six hours a night, two hours of that six hours, my light is doing homework. Mm. So that's four hours. So mm. if you're spending that four hours that you have watching watching series, <laughs> no my brother, you, you, the problem is not more time. The problem is you're using a time wrong. So... So mm. uh, how is it about being a, a good father? Is it about taking that six hours and being with your light is about six hours? Mm. No, like you mentioned earlier, uh, you described me as a superhero yes. in a chat GPT uh, um, uh, scenario. If you watch Deadpool, they say in Deadpool, you're not a super, you don't wake up a superhero, go sleep a superhero, walk a superhero, shut a superhero. It's probably two or three instances in your life Yes. You have opportunity to be a superhero and you take it. That is going to be what makes you a superhero or not. And the same applies for being a father. Bro. Being a father is not being there when my lighty wakes up, when my lighty goes to sleep. It's that few moments when my lighty needs a dad. Thank you, And brother. I am there. Aye. That is going to determine whether I'm a good dad or not. The rest of the time, I'm working. I'm, I'm, they don't see that. They don't see me earning money for them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But that one 10 minutes, 20 minutes when you're light here saying, Daddy, come kick a ball with me. Mas. And you go, nah, man, I'm watching this uh, uh, vampire diaries. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> moment your yeah. light is going to remember yeah, when nah. Daddy wasn't there. Or you say, I can't finish this mission for you. Sin, I, I, sin day, or come watch my game. And you decide, nah, man, I can make an effort, but I won't. You know why? Because me and your tiny don't get along. Ooh. You, you, you get and that's what we need because we need to build a bit more strong light these men Yo, my, my boys I feel for my boys you know what I mean Yo. men as men now we've become the biggest feminists now we fight more for women than themselves so okay. I, I because nobody ever talks about the other side of the foot no, we always get blamed we never get said like we also want to help yeah you know what I mean there is some no 100% I, I be, I, I'm a firm <laughs> believer that say that that, uh, that 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 masculinity is not toxic. I'm a firm believer in that. I believe mm. lack of masculinity is, is toxic because you know what? Um, and and I mean I'm gonna piss a lot of people off with this statement. Yeah. That if women were that good at raising boys, why are we so messed up? Yeah, this generation because we were all raised by our mothers. Yes, hundred percent. And if this generation turn out to treat women, yeah. who raised us? Our daddies didn't raise us. Our mothers raised us. Yes. Think yes. about that. So, oh, it's deep, but I'm not No, 100%, but they're one. not ready to, take, to have that conversation. I'm not taking We are a generation, we're probably two generations that were raised by our mothers. Yes. And how far back does this whole movement go to say that men don't know how to treat women? Can I tell, who, you, can I tell, you, exactly, can I tell you exactly when it came back to? The 1970s. Agreed. In the 70s, they introduced something called the divorce lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yes. So when the divorce lawyer came in, that's when 
children actually started and this is for all you mothers and ladies out there this is a study by malcolm gladwell now you know when he does a study he does a study mm. so in the 70s they brought in the divorce lawyer yeah um he wrote the book uh, the tipping point i uh, i read the book the yes, tipping yes, point so, so very good book again he says 70s they bring in the divorce lawyer mm. so remember in the 70s what they used to do they put the light in the middle mommy one side daddy one side and they ask questions yeah and whoever can answer it best yes So what they found in the 50s, 60s and 70s, the father knew the lighty best. Okay. Because in the time it took out to spend with the lighty, he is more present. Mm. I call it eat the sandwich. Okay. When you're there with the lighty, be with the lighty. Yes. Eat the bloody sandwich. Yeah. Also. Burn the ships. Yes. Go there, be there, play for that 10 minutes. Mm. So he studied this in the 70s, the, the divorce lawyer come. What did the divorce lawyer do? Go talk to the lighty and then go to the mommy. Mm. and then go to the daddy yeah gives the mommy and the daddy all the information yeah and through though that process is the mother started getting more the advantage and if you look how it goes now now we in the 2020s yeah it's not even anymore but now it's mother grandmother yeah father yeah now we can't even surpass that level yeah no that's why i say that's why i say lack of masculinity is the that just the the guys man yes. i see a, a bigger picture man I see I see that I'm not not that, that. I'm seeing um that the man was strategically taken out of the family for yes. a reason. Yeah. Yeah. And now if you think about it the next step is to take out the woman. We 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 have this converse, co- confusion as to what is a woman. Yeah. Never mind the roles man. So I think it's strategic actually that yes. it's been done by that that's Yeah, a, I think I think that's a that's a complete conversation for another day. Mm-hmm. I'd like to take that one up again. <laughs> but 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 I I'm t- I just want to challenge I just yes. want to challenge the idea that that now men men is the enemy and men is toxic and men is this but they forget that we were raised by our mothers yes we from and, that mother generation and 100% we everybody my age 90% of the old ones my I'm 57, age 57 so 100% mothers. if if our mothers raised us properly <laughs> then we would most know how to how to treat our women You, you you get what I'm saying yeah. why do you have such a lot of men from from single mothers being so dysfunctional so it's not that it's not that the mother did a bad job I'm not saying that yes but what I'm saying is you cannot have ex- exclusivity when raising your child and expect your child to have a fantastic chance yes so, so you need a whole family you structure. need you need oh, yes. to and mm. even and listen you don't have to stay in a marriage that you're not happy with no. blah 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 I'm putting in all the disclaimers that I can, but what yeah. I'm saying is a child has a better chance Correct. if his father is present yes. than a child that, that, that was raised exclusively. By, because if mother did such a good job, and that's where my challenge come in, mm. why are children raised in a single household by a mother? I have a higher chance of, let's say, failure. And then don't pull the father. So again, I, unfortunately, I, not unfortunately, but I told you Mitchell Slain from... 2016 to 2020, mm-hmm. and I grew the, up in Mitchell's Plain. I saw in your bio, yes, Eastridge. Yes, Eastridge, yeah. Yes, um, so the dust in Eastridge and Mitchell's Plain. I lived in Stramontain for very long, also like okay. 20 years. Um, so there's different templates also uh-huh. for the lighties that I see already. So when the lighties come in and they fill in the form, and then it must have mother, father, guardian. Mm. Now that thing already give me the template. Uh-huh. So once the template say mother and it's a tick box, quite quite. Father tick box also together. Mm, mm. This is something different. Nice. This is something different. Yes. So like and it's like you say that tick box already give me so much just that. Yeah. Then you get the ones that don't have this too. Yeah. Then it only have this one guardian. Yeah. Now you know who the guardian is. Grandmother. Ooh. My brother. The template is yeah, it's 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 a I'm going to say sad state of affairs yeah. but there is assistance and it's assistance from those yeah. who are around that's why it's the, the old adage it takes a village to raise a child yeah sure 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 so we have we need more of those supports but there's a reason and and, and again this is this is me just throwing in a, a comment yeah. to to challenge the situation is there's a reason why you need to stop having children at a certain age yes you need to you need to stop raising kids at a certain age biologically because you don't want a 60 year old trying to raise a 9 year old boom you don't want that the i'm telling you old people are not geared up to raise children that is why they become younger 
man yeah, I'm telling you the old people to have you seen a, a nine year old raised by a grandmother Nah, yeah, is this functional? Is this functional? Like a I've, I've seen great. It's like, yeah, yeah. With, with, with the grandmother because, coming. Because, yeah. This because, one. Ooh. Because grandmothers, grandmothers are not supposed to raise children. Grandmothers are supposed to look after grandchildren. Yes, they're even above the nature. My, my, I'm telling you now, I, I'm, I'm 42. My, my, my young, my younger Zeki is seven. Mm. And he stretches me. And I can tell you now, my, my <laughs> eldest son, Isaiah, who's now 18, mm. and, it's, and it's weird because he had a more vigorous version of me growing up. Mm. Financially, I wasn't that strong. Yes. Then my, the middle one possibly got the best of me. Okay. <laughs> because he got me when I still, when I still had energy okay, fine. and I had money. Oh. Right? I was coming into myself. I was oh. coming into my career. I was doing well. And I still had the energy. So you had the yes there. Huh? Yes. yes. Whatever, yes. bro. Whatever. You <laughs> had the best of everything. Quite. Then you have Zeki, who now has all the gadgets. And he probably has the most comfortable uh, life yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. far. But, but say pass much, man. Yeah. Now, just imagine Isaiah, who's now, maybe, let's say, he's in his 20s. And he's the, a dysfunctional man. Nah. And I have to replace Just him not. as, the, as the, the father figure in his lightest life. My bro, old people, their mission is play still and in, in, in sit still. They don't have a coping mechanism. They don't. They don't. <laughs> that is why, bro, don't, don't leave your children by your grandmother, man. No. By your mother for too long. They are there for short stints. Yes. But I see too many grandmothers raising children um, with healthy... They've got healthy... Uh, the children's got healthy parents. But the oma, maki can grow it. Why? Because you still want to cut the jack. Nay, man. Nay. Cut the jack <laughs> no, like again, and this is why I love your content. And yeah. this is why I said I love your longer content. Sure, sure. Then, then, I, then I get more. Uh, <coughs> and, and very importantly is that there's a commitment to be taken place. Yeah. And the commitment is we just need to get this person to a certain point that they can make proper decisions. Because then yeah. I explained it as the vicious cycle. Uh -huh. if somebody don't say make the circle bigger. No. And like, let me just... Yes. And, then, and, and, the, and I think... I think we come from the generation where the mission was to basically keep your kids alive. If your kids are oh. nah, they, 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 they eat something to eat and a warm place come to sleep and they squint, I'm doing a good job. And mm. there's much more to raising children than that. Children are complete human beings from oh. the moment they are born. And if you don't recognize that, that they've got needs and they've got feelings and they've got opinions and, and you are here to basically... And so this is my this is my theory, right? My theory is that you need to get your child from birth, yes, independent from you, yes, as quick as possible, yes, so that one day you pass the torch to them and you can die. How do I get the child independent from me, sir? My, I, you know what? It starts with it starts as simple as when your child is born, your mm -hmm. child must learn to sit up on his own. Oh, this man dropping gems. Right? Hundred yes. percent. I mean, it starts there. Then from there, the child you needs, must help the child. You must help the child sit up on his own. Yes. Then the child must learn how to use a spoon. Correct. Then you need to start so that he can eat to survive. Hundred percent. Correct. Then you need to you teach the child how to communicate. Your yes, your no, your hello, your your goodbyes, whatever. Yes. Then you need to start teaching the child social norms. Ooh. And this is where a lot of parents fail. So because before social norms was please and thank you. Please, and so please communicating. and thank you is not automatic, ladies and gentlemen. No, you still have to teach adults. 100%. 100%. <laughs> so you need to teach your child to communicate. There we go. Then you need to teach your child social norms, what is acceptable and what is not. And this is where a lot of parents fail. Because they don't teach a child that there are actually rules that apply to them. Yes. And this is where you need to teach your child that you are not alone in this world. Now, a baby is extremely selfish. They can only think of themselves. When they're hungry, they cry. They when, they, when they're dirty, they cry. They yeah. want all your attention. But you need to teach your child that you're not the only person in the world. And yes. the one lesson builds on the other. Then you need to teach your child how to look clean themselves. Look after themselves. Take responsibility mm. for their homework. Take responsibility for their actions. And then it gets to the point where now your child is ready to function in society. 
Okay. And then you die. Okay, then you die. So yeah. some people stop at communicate. Some people, shit, some, <laughs> some people stop at holding a spoon. <laughs> and, I, I like it when they just go to communicate. Oh, I can pray, I can, I can, can I can, and, and then it. he starts saying anything. Yes, and, and, and you, he starts saying, and I mean, you need to teach, you, you don't discipline your child because you, you don't like your child. You discipline your child because if you're not going to do it, the police is going to do it for them. Oh. Your children is going to eventually report to a manager. And if he doesn't report to a manager, eventually he's going to report to society. Brother, it's, it's, and some of the kids are like, let's fail it, just fail it, you'll be good. Mania, and it's not even about the swearing. It's about, no, no, no. it's about not knowing that there's consequences for my action. And the demeanor. 100%. Because I, I always say, you have freedom of speech, but not but freedom, not freedom of consequences. consequences. That, that is the one, sir, that I'll take home. <laughs> yeah, you take that to the bank. <laughs> that, I'm taking that Mania. to the bank. And I mean, and, 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 and so that's I, how... in, sorry to break you, but yeah. in our facility, we tell the kids, you're free to make all the choices you want. Yes. But you're not free of the consequences. Not free of the consequences. And, and how many people, if I mention this, will be able to relate. It says, if you are working with lightis, they are the one person or two people at work, it just seems as if when the consequences catch up to them, Tanis are so surprised. Oh. Like, what? <laughs> My this, is, but this, is like, this is like grade 11 all yeah, of yeah. Not that you're doing your oral today. Yes, yes, exa exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, that, that's the people that got up uh, for oral and said, give me no mas, just give me zero. So, and they take the same attitude to work. Same, same response as right, give me the, and then, right. and then on top of that, oh, yeah, no. a raak hulle kwaad vir jou, ah. wat die promotion gekryd het, because you're doing your job. And I didn't even, I just did what I needed yeah, to do. Yes, yes, yes. You know how many people, you know how many people walk around with this attitude? Ekke! And then six months later, when the position comes up, and that same manager ah. who you didn't give any scope to, now he actually has a scope. Now they didn't give me the promotion, so what now? Now you visit what the means is still on my. Now you. <laughs> let me not. Let me not. No, no, that is part of the business. <laughs> I, was, I was in the teaching now you have, Now you have a profit. A uh, church telling you oh yeah, that no. all you need to do is give him a 5,000 rand <laughs> and that promotion at work is yours. Yo. Because you know who's holding him away from your job is the <laughs> devil. Blaming yeah. the devil. And ladies and gentlemen, Kaiser uh, um, <laughs> the usual suspect, yeah, as I, he said, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was yeah. making us believe that he doesn't that exist. exist. So, so what, do, what do you do now? That, that prophet at church, he doesn't know that you haven't been to work on time for the last six months. <laughs> he doesn't know that you, you, when your boss gives you an instruction, a trick to your niso, mm. and you are working next to somebody. But you dress well to church. He, nah, and you pay the 5,000 rand. Now he makes you believe that mm. that person at work must now be fired now in oh. God's name because I lay your position fast in this curriculum but I mean. Nah, I mean, brahma. Mm. Oh, and again, if you're not leading yourself well, ladies and gentlemen, you're never going to grow professional self. Hey, they come here to sit by the week. Now, when I expect them to be promoted, as it comes to the time for increase uh, conversations, play me by your seat. Say, if they come to the increase, I spoke to two ladies. The one lady asked me, she said, sir, the one, the one lady asked me, they're both the teacher assistants. Uh, you know, they're the teacher yeah, yeah, assistant yeah. ladies. Sir, how do I get a permanent job here at the school? Tell both ladies the same thing. Yeah. You work. Yes. You work so hard that the principal must take note of you. 100%. You don't say nothing. When they say you must take a class, you, you, you take you, it. You must yeah. become a teacher. You yeah. make lessons. Yes. They, mean, they, must say, you, they must say. You become in the, you indispensable. Only, you must say. They must, somebody must say. You only teach us and relax. Who do you yeah. think you are? Yeah. I say when somebody cuck you at that moment, is the moment you know you made it, my brother. Yeah. And I told the boy the same thing. Yeah. The boy was like, no, sir. No, sir. Da, 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 yeah, no, me, no. No, no, What no. do you mean? And I really went deeper into check the template. Yes, you know I mean? yes. And then yes. again, you find that, okay, you need, you, you need to add this. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't have someone saying, yeah. fuck you. Yes. And say, hello, correct. Yeah. So the girl goes, head down, heart open, yeah. eyes open, you got to Yeah. Crying. End of the yeah. next year, sir. Principal, yes, offered me a job. Offered me a job. Boy, 
Now I'm going to find something else. I'm f- exactly, exactly. And, and, and it's that knowledge is not power. No, 100%. And those, Everything that and Cedric the, said you, the application yes, of knowledge. And, the, and those people are the people that will say, no, nah, I don't like Cedric. Mm. I don't like him. Because you know what? He's the one that says, you want me to do a five job to you. But as you can see, he's a skilled. As he's a company, he's a skilled. As your supervisor, he's a skilled. He's not a guy. The common denominator here is you. But now because I pointed it out in a video, I don't even know you. But I pointed it out in a video. Now you don't like me. <laughs> because what you want to hear is the problem as a listener. Yes. Now you don't worry about your breakthrough tomorrow. Your breakthrough is on its way. My brother, you must just stay the course. Like, <laughs> like now my brother, the course is taking you into the wall. <laughs> The walls of Jericho. <laughs> the, wall the walls of Jericho. Uh, that, that is, that is what oh, I'm... You know, this is so... I, like, I don't even want to throw the biblical in here. Like, I had a meeting um, with a parent, and the parent shared with me uh, the story of Nehemiah with the walls of Jericho and yes. people whispering yeah. in his ear. And I'm like, hey, this is the first time I hear the story. Mm, but yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. And this is a, like, you, you want to push over the walls of Jericho, you can't worry about the people saying in your ear. Ah, and whatever can't. happens to them, bad... All good yeah. is not a consequence of what you are pushing. Mm. I like to say that my precepts is not going to make you stronger. Yes, bro. You know what 100%. I mean? Very really important. No, but, but you know what? People, people will want your formula no? until you tell them that it requires hard work. Like mm. People want your weight loss. People want your muscle growth. People want your fitness. People want your health. But... If you tell them, my bro, is you have to wake up at five, you have to be at the gym, train for two hours, you have to sacrifice here, mm-hmm. they go, oh, isn't there a tablet I can take? Oh. Is there a tablet I can take? Good night, there's no tablets. Like, night, tell me the tablet, man. Instagram. Wa- yeah. Yes, that's bro. They don't even, like my kids in the like, week, I was telling them, you know why they call it Instagram? They were like, uh, because it's instant. I'm like, no, it's an instant gram of dopamine. 100%. Boom, there you get your, yeah. your they're like, oh. Do you know, you know ah, how many, you know how many Owens contact me and they say, Cedric, I want you to mentor me on this, on this, uh, on this um, social media, sure. man. I've even thought about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have a problem. I say, I'll mentor you on WhatsApp. Okay, right. So this morning, this is, this is the plan, right? For Why? one day, this is the plan. Five posts a day, every day for the next I always say, don't bring your child up for yourself. I'll agree, 100 percent. I fully agree with that. But I will mm-hmm. go. I'll say, okay, Monday, between one and five posts for the week. I mean, per day for mm-hmm. the week. There we go. We touch base again on Friday, right? You know, I had a, a content creator, had a video, and had like a hundred thousand views in one day, and he phoned me and he says, so when is the when is the company going to start phoning me no. to promote this stuff? It's just in, like my bra, like stuff. I understand. It's it's uh, it's uh, this generation is also about instant gratification. Yeah. So they must feel it. It took me ten years to become an overnight success. Oof. What this man is pulling bars here. For forty-two year old pulling drink bars here all the time. But but it's, uh, it's the truth because because that thing, that that nine second run yeah. of Usain Bolt is the culmination of ten years of training. It all seconds. it all comes together. Now people look at their 10 seconds and they go, I want that. And you go, fine, you can have it. Mm-hmm. However, it's going to take you 10 years of training. They go, no, I don't want to train 10 years. And then don't want to listen to David Goggins and say 10,000 hours. That's all, right, guys. That's it, bro. You it's have to tough. constantly. So so people are saying, yo, my bro, coach me, Cedric, I want to, I want to do what you do. Uh. Go, okay, fine, bro. How many followers do you have? 500. No problem, it's a start. Let's but go. but also know that your goal is for 2026. Because I started in 2020. So and I'm it is now three years. What you are seeing now is the coming together of three years. Yeah, the principle there is fast forward. They yeah. all want to be fast. They want 2026. And, and, then, yeah, and mm. then you know what a lot of them go is they go, okay, cool, that sounds good. I'm with you. My bro, within three days of work, you have an island. Yeah, and the jump on three. Ah, it's hard work. You're lying, man. You then made a video this morning that got 10,000 views. Where's my 10,000 views? Where's your video? Nah, I must still post it. What? You want my results and you didn't even post a video? 
Hmm. It's mal, but that that is the reality of today. So um, I'm gonna wrap up. So I have Why? To, What's the time? Yeah, was I, mean, yeah, I was like, I was, I was, I was seeing, and I was like, you're flowing, you're flowing. I but, no Kraivantain to ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the you must all go to Kraivantain. Yes, and his wife is here. I will definitely say thank you. Very much thank you to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're better off or my, the other off. Yes, my bigger, my bigger supporter. I, I can, I share the same sentiments with you. Um, you know, I always say you don't bring your child here, you bring them up for the world. No yeah. rights without the responsibilities. 100%. Uh, Shaquille, very insightful topics as a father. Same thing as youngster CPT success. Yeah, just real. Yeah. I want to shout out to Shaq. Shaq was uh, my, my partner that started the whole thing with me. Shaq. Oh, thanks. Much well, love, bro. Well done, Shaq. This is where it is now. I mean, this is years in the making. Um, so from my side, brother, just to wrap up, Cedric mm-hmm. Lagoma, the Fagan Miller podcast, ladies and gentlemen, very importantly, we shared some important rules, but I, what is one, th- <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Lagoma and, uh, and the, the gentle, gentle brother, brother, well done, my brother. I, 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 I got some of this beef. But nice. Then I, and then it went from beef to no, happiness yeah, to I mean, right, to, right, to right, love and things. I just thought like, I'll play out with a, with a, uh, I, I was searching for Laguma dancing and that's yeah. the only one that I could get. So. Oh yes, I remember okay. this day like it was yesterday. Yeah, okay, plug, plug, show me, plug in Gentle Brother. Very nice in guys, there. give Gentle Brother a follow on uh, on TikTok yeah. if you can. I actually, another day was talking about, oh, it's like another the month, because then again it popped up. But it was something value, was some value there. It was something about no, they, no, he definitely brings good insights. No, I'm just uh, it was that one thing where I could go like, okay, wait, let me listen a bit. Liquor, liquor, so well you know done. I mean? well so done. I'm yeah, saying yeah, that there yeah. was I value. Actually, I actually communicated with him because um, Roscoe wanted him on his podcast. Okay, nice. okay. And nice. um, I spoke to him on WhatsApp. But it seems like a, a cool guy. No, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. He's a no, cool I love the, I love the, 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 when you, when you know you're not gonna win. Yeah, huh? it's always good to have my defeat sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> when somebody yeah. becomes your mentor. You know, yes, yes. That's a, that's, that's a good thing. So from yeah. my side, um, my brother, thank you for your time. I can tell you I had also that complex of, oof, this is three years in the making. I did a Brian Rose podcast and a masterclass, and they said, um, you must know your, your vision. Uh-huh. And then you, it must combine with your topic. Uh-huh. And then you're under true fans. And when I wrote down who was the, at, at somewhere in this book here, yeah. yes. 2021, as you can yes. see, in I wrote here, yeah, number yeah. one person I wanted on the podcast was you. So oh, well this, done. This is a bucket list item. No, I thank you, my off. brother. Thank you. Um, I think I want to. It's better than I ever expected. Is it? Yeah. No, like, I, I, know you, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to see you again. Yes, yeah, so we, I want to come back because I'm busy launching a website. Oh, um, the web, The website, and it's, and it's talking about that, that, that 100 fans. Uh, in my case, it's, it will be a thousand. So what the website does is it allows content creators to climb onto the website mm. and and you have your hundred or you have your thousand fans and they will commit to helping you financially every month yep. so that you can go and create more content. It's cool. So stay tuned for that. It's coming in the next week or two. And I think it's going to be a game changer. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah. And of Again, so, yeah. leaving a legacy within the chink of social media. I don't think yeah, you're going to get that right. 100%. Man. It's, a, it's the first website of its kind in South Africa. And uh, I think it's going to make a lot of waves. It's going to change a lot of people's lives. And uh, yeah, if you have time, visit www.splashme.co.za. www, ladies and gentlemen, dot splash me. Yep. Dots. Dots here, dot zero. Dot zero, Please, please check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, doing something out. for all of us, doing yeah. the most. Yeah, it's cool. Um, it's cool. Even in your case, so so people that want to support the podcast, Correct. I've you got can. That do a podcast. Hundred percent. You can, you can, you can register on the website. You load the podcast on. Boom. People can either buy the podcast Boom. and support you, or people can say, you know what, I like Fagan. I want to give him twenty bucks a month for the next year, and if you can get a thousand people to do that for you. It's 20,000 rand a month. You can live off that. You can, you can buy equipment. You can make a better podcast. Yeah. And, uh, and you can, it's like Patreon. It's almost like Patreon, but South African, linked to South African banks. It's fantastic. Okay, we'll check it out. That is for very soon. I'm going to have this man on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very yeah, soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, sir. Is there anything that you need to say to those out there? I think don't, don't take life too serious. I think I think a lot of people think that in order to be serious in life, you need to you need to be you take life very very serious. I think the the, the secret is balance. Mm. I think uh, if you if you watch uh, if you watch social media, 
as a consumer, try not to be too serious, try not to take it too serious. Yes. And and I think if you the quicker you can find that balance between this is not real, this is real, and even if this is real, it doesn't affect me, so it mm. shouldn't affect me, the, the more happier you'll be. Oh, your happiness is determined if you don't take life serious on social media. Agreed, agreed, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Le Gobo on the Fagan Miller podcast. You are here. Much appreciated. Thanks, guys. Don't carry on, then I'm not going to talk to you again. Man.